So much of Arlington is new, exciting, and dynamic. But there's a lot of history here, too, if you know where to look. At here now, we had to have some help to find some of the last lingering traces of the Civil War. Hi, we're standing here along Busy Lee Highway, but you'd be amazed to know that there's a piece of history not too far away that's 150 years old. Come with me. We're almost there, just a little bit further. Come with me. Hey Tom, hey, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm uh, just over here. We're looking at one of uh, Arlington's uh, lesser known Civil War artifacts. Uh, this is a, a trench that was cut here uh, in the ground and it was part of the perimeter defense forts that were built uh, just after the start of the Civil War. That's right, it doesn't look like much right now. and You can't imagine that this could ever have been used as a fortification, but what we need to remember is that during the Civil War, all these trees weren't here. That The landscape was basically completely denuded of trees and vegetation to allow soldiers clear lines of sight between forts. They could signal from towers, they could see each other, and they could see the nation's capital very clearly from here. Right. So. And what were the forts that were in line here, Kim? This, in the northern part of Arlington County here, um, Arlington County had 22 forts altogether out of the 68 forts that encircled Washington, D.C. And the northern part of Arlington, Arlington's forts was, was known as the Chain Bridge sector because it kind of protected the Chain Bridge end of the Potomac River crossing. And so this trench is thought to connect a fort back toward Lee Highway where we started um, called Fort Strong, which no longer exists, and a fort in that direction um, called Fort C.F. Smith, which does still exist and is protected as a historic site. That's kind of an interesting story how these forts even came to be built here, isn't that right? <laughs> yes, uh, this was just after the start of the Civil War and President Lincoln deployed federal troops over here because he realized that the Potomac River, which is right down here below us, constituted the northernmost boundary of the Confederate states. Right. Of course, right across the river was where the northern states started. So Lincoln's idea was that he felt it was important to have a group of defense perimeter forts built around to protect the federal city, the nation's capital mm -hmm. across the river. So troops were sent over into what was Confederate territory, the state of Virginia at the time, and they pretty much took over all this area that's currently Arlington. And as you mentioned, cut down all the trees here, took everything down to bare ground, and then started building this series of 22 forts that string through Arlington as a part of this defense perimeter. Well, I think what's interesting about these forts is that they were built pretty quickly. I mean, they knew they needed those defenses up pretty fast. So I know construction started not long after the first shots were fired at Fort Sumter. Mm -hmm. And I think my understanding is that most of the forts were pretty much complete by mid-war, maybe by 1862, 1863. And I can't imagine that life was easy to be garrisoned at a fort here on these barren hills in Arlington County. No. What do you think? Uh, it was probably better than being on the front lines. Yeah. They weren't being actively shot at, but yet this was pretty primitive. Uh, soldiers would normally patrol back and forth up along these earthworks. Their idea was to keep an eye on what was going out here further to the west and the south. Right. Because there were actually Confederate troops in the Fairfax County around Fairfax Courthouse area. And so their idea was to just basically keep an eye and make sure that there were no incursions of Confederate troops coming for us. There were occasional contacts and occasional skirmishes and things like that in this area, but it wasn't really a frontline battle area. No. So the soldiers that were deployed here probably had it fairly good. Kim, as we walk along here, anyone who came by this place would probably ask, well, what's so significant about this? It's just kind of a little trench. It's almost uh, unnoticeable, filled with leaves. What's, what's, what would you say is really important about this? Well, it's true. I mean, it's, it's been heavily altered since its Civil War appearance, but the significance of all the forts and trenches and military roads was, was the interconnectedness of them. They work together in concert, and not just in Arlington, but in Alexandria and all the way around the capital city. So without 
these pieces, none of the disparate forts could have functioned all that well and served as effective defenses, which they did. There was no serious attack on Washington, D.C. during the war because these forts and trenches work so closely together. And one of our concerns, and one of the reasons we consider this trench endangered is that we don't know how many Civil War trenches still exist in Arlington County. They aren't very well protected, obviously. They aren't very well interpreted. Kim, we're, we're obviously in this place where there's development all around, and that's, mm -hmm. that, of course, is a concern to anyone who's interested in preservation of these remains. It is. I mean, this could be one of the few trenches we have remaining left in Arlington, and we don't know how many other trenches have been paved over over the years. We actually are adjacent to a residential development right here. We can actually look almost into someone's backyard right next to this 1860s historic resource. There are many of these places left, as you know, Kim, uh, but there, is, there are a couple uh, in Arlington that are still visible. Uh, maybe we want to go take a look at another one. I was thinking of uh, Fort Richardson over by Army Navy Country Club. That sounds terrific. Let's go. Great. Well, Kim, uh, here we are now at uh, Fort Richardson, and uh, off here to our side, we're looking at one of the most prominent features here of what once was part of a larger Fort Richardson complex. This, this earthwork here, this berm, as you can see, pretty much was hand dug by Union soldiers who were part of that deployment that came out here just after the Civil War started. And where we're located here is on a particularly high point in Arlington. This was a, a real a natural feature that was of great advantage to the Union soldiers because you had a clear shot down here once all the trees were taken out, clear shot all the way down to the Potomac River here so Union soldiers could see any kind of approach or advancement being made by Confederate troops coming up the river. Mm -hmm. And then looking in this direction, you had a clear shot all the way down to the heart of Washington, D.C. One of the interesting things, Tom, is that we we're at this fort in South Arlington, and during the Civil War, soldiers could have walked back to those forts and trenches in North Arlington where we just were. Right. And now, of course, that's impossible because it's all interstate and development, and it's a highly urbanized county. So one of the things that concerns us is that these remaining Civil War trenches and earthworks are endangered because of all the development in the area. And until we learn more about them, and, and think of ways to preserve them, they might all be gone. This, this area is one of a few left in Arlington that it's, it's, it has a very important part of our history here in this area. Uh, as these things disappear, we start to lose our past and we start to really have that connection with where we came from. This is a, a, an actual remnant or artifact left over from the Civil War when troops and soldiers were really here and really fighting and being trying to protect and defend the Union. The Arlington Heritage Alliance has named the Civil War Earthworks one of the most endangered sites in Arlington, and it's easy to see why. To find out more about these berms and other wonderful pieces of Arlington history, visit arlingtonheritage.org. Don't go away. It's another trip through time when Here Now continues.